What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here with Little Theo, and I am wearing, I don't know if you can see this, but this is my Detroit Lions Axel Foley Beverly Hills Cop jacket here. I love this jacket. It's got the Lions logo on the front right there and the big one on the back, which you can't see, but this guy is going to be a Lions fan come hell or high water, and yeah, I know. You want this jacket. Look, you want the jacket. And they don't make this jacket for toddlers, so I thought maybe we could hack together a little tiny replica. So let's take a look at what I got and see if we can do it. All right, so here is my jacket, and here is what I found for toddler's jacket. It's kind of like sweatshirt material here, so not the vinyl or leather. And it's just black, which kind of matches that, but white instead of ivory sleeves there. But the first thing that I need to do here is replicate this patch. And when online, obviously I need it similar, kind of the helmet angling a little bit towards you, and smaller than that. So I found this patch online, which looks like a pretty good representation but about half the size here so if i go ahead and flatten this out and then put that guy right back there all right that should be pretty good i'm not going to worry about the detroit lions name or anything and i'm going to use gorilla fabric glue to glue this to the back here so i'm going to get that on and then we will work on the front all right so i'm just going to give this a little healthy dose of this gorilla fabric glue which you can get anywhere it's only about four bucks, so I don't want to go right up to the edge because I'm going to squish this down and obviously don't want it running out the sides, but I do need to get it close to the edge so you don't have it peeling up or catching on stuff and kind of pulling away. You've got to have kind of strong hand muscles to keep squeezing this thing, though. Uh, stuff is decently thick, and I'm going to go ahead and be pretty liberal here, but I want to make sure I save some for the front-facing patch. Right, just cross hatch pattern. Man, it's got a it's got a smell though. I wouldn't call it like acetone, but it's got some sort of fume. So make sure you do this in a well ventilated area. I'm doing this in a porta potty just to make sure that I breathe in every last bit of it. Alright, so once I get enough glue on here, I'm hoping the fabric glue flexes a little bit and is quite permanent because I don't want this coming off. All right, and now all I'm gonna do is make sure this is nice and flat here. I'm gonna put that down there and then just put a little book on top of it and let it dry. All right, so got the patch on the back. Now there is a patch that needs to go on the front here and I found this little patch and I think I'll put it just about there. Again, more of the fabric Gorilla Glue to hold that in place and then we will try it out and see if it works. And deliberately applying it, not going right up to the edge. I don't want it to bleed out. Put enough on the back. The back of this patch, because it's pretty new, it's pretty slick. All right, put that there. Let that dry overnight, and then we'll see how good it looks. So this is the final product. I think it looks pretty good. It's not an exact replica. I could have probably found the letters to do Detroit Lions on the back too if I really wanted to, but I knew I wasn't gonna find patches that were exactly the same or exactly the same size, but I think it's a pretty good replica that captures the essence of it. So you've got Axel Foley wearing it. You've got Jared Goff. Adrian Peterson, a lot of current and former Lions, and including these Detroiters right here, Peter Von Panda and Theo Von Panda. So if you want an Axel Foley jacket for your little one, you're probably gonna have to build it yourself, but I'll put links to the jacket in the description below so that you can pick it up and customize it any way you want. Peter Von Panda, out.